want or a generic one? How have you just seen it grown in your time from when you got into college athletics to being a director? Well, let's go all the way back. Title IX's 50 years old, so let's get real. We know my age. So, you know, when I was in high school, Title IX, get ready to go to college, was just being passed. And, of course, you know, you didn't see immediate effects. And I think we can never forget the people that went before us, the, the courageous men and women, who really championed Title IX. And, you know, we're in athletics, so we immediately think it's more opportunities for women in sports. But the fact that Title IX was also what's given women more opportunity in, in the STEM, you know, in the science, the technology, the math, the, um, a chance to go to law school. But I think what is really exciting to me right now is, yes, we've done a lot of work, but recently we've seen Title IX and gender equity and those things really elevate it where not only are individual people paying attention, but corporations are, the media. Like, let's make sure we're giving everybody the opportunities that Title IX was really created for. Did that impact you getting into coaching? Like, what was, before, <laughs> before it was passed, did you know what you wanted to do? Was that opportunity even there? No, um, actually, you know, this, uh, you know, going way back, I, I went to a high school that was really predominantly about football. It was, but the football coach and AD, his two daughters, were actually love sports. And so, you know, we had the opportunity to play some sports and, and really get treated in a good way. But then I went to, um, obviously, Furman University, which is really when Title IX was getting started, and a, and a few more opportunities for women to, to play sports. But I went to Furman in order to be a pre-med major, and which was also, once again, Title IX, giving more women opportunity to choose some careers that perhaps they didn't get opportunities before. But then this passionate love for sports and just seeing how sports was growing and more opportunities and how it can make a difference in um, people's lives um, led me in a career in athletics and certainly been a passionate um, advocate for women and opportunities and you know that's how we have our our turn to play um, that we've been doing now and gosh 16 17 years to really not forget what title nine started and making sure that um, our student athletes today realize that we've come a long way but we still have work to do and um, it's really funny i just saw a commercial last night with uh, a, a male and a female talking about their jobs and each of them were talking about what they had accomplished. And at the end of the commercial was the fact that the male was still making 18% higher than the female. So we have work to do when it comes to how, you know, um, Title IX is not finished. And so we got to keep championing that. But it certainly has given us so many more opportunities. And, um, you know, to see how the, the crowds have grown at, G like the University of South Carolina watching the University of South Carolina, how they're supporting women's basketball. And once upon a time, you know, you saw that at UConn and Tennessee, but now you see it across the country. Or the opportunities we're seeing in professional women's golf, uh, which is one reason we've got Mike Wand coming as our speaker for the Our Turn to Play. You know, such a champion to um, grow women's golf and now how, how that is filtering across all sports. You hit on a lot of good stuff, so if, if it's repetitive, Go for it. But since 2022, you look at it now, what would you tell your 18-year-old self about Title IX and how far things were going to come in this, this time? Wow. Period? Well, <laughs> looking back, you know, if I was watching TV or the number of sports offered at our high school for women and then to see the opportunities now that, you know, I can turn on ESPN, CBS and watch, gosh, I've been watching college gymnastics recently. Who would have thought? So I probably would, you know, looking back at my 18-year-old self, um, probably that quote about Wilman Rudolph, dreaming about the opportunities that we could have as women in college sports and, and in all sports, probably wished for it, dreamed about it, but then given opportunities, we see what that could mean. So I think in some ways Title IX and diversity, equity, inclusion are are in, intertwined in some ways. It's about opportunities, being fair, do the right thing. And so I'm excited that we are, we are celebrating the um, 50th anniversary and so thankful for those pioneers that went before us. And hopefully I can continue to do some of that and we'll also maybe have um, others who step up and continue this until it really is fair.
And similar to the, the question I asked about maybe getting into coaching, did it have any impact as your career went on to get into administration? Did you see more opportunity? There was more opportunities, you know, um, certainly. And, and once again, um, I think when, when you're, um, you reflect back on your life, you see how different people step forward to help you and mentor you. And I, I think that is something that, that we're trying to do here through Title IX, the celebration is remember, reach down and pull somebody up and give them that chance to, whether it's become an athletic director or a coach or go to law school, you know, whatever, whatever those opportunities, you know, it's so much more than a law, you know, that, you know, a law is really, it enforces something, but what makes a law really happen are the individual people and groups that step up to help others to, to use the law to, to get these opportunities. A little more specific to this campus, uh, how have you seen Title IX, in, you know, whether it's buildings on campus, things like yeah. that, you know, show itself here in Asheville? Well, particularly in our athletic department, you know, one of the things that we really um, pride ourselves on is really giving both our ma male and female student athletes the exact same experience whenever possible, you know, that they're treated equally. and. When we, t for example, we talk basketball or we talk soccer, we're not saying men's soccer, women's soccer, or men's tennis or women's tennis. We're talking about our tennis programs, and you know, and we really value that that you know, um, giving both of the um, male and females e equal opportunity and not treating one better than the other. That that's important. We don't always get it right, but boy, it is our goal every day to be certainly fair to all of our student athletes.